In our previous section, we learned about digitizing. In this session, we'll be learning about the attribute table. But before, before proceeding, we come to the editor toolbar. We save our edits from the previous session. Now we can stop our edits. To better understand the attribute table, I'll be bringing in a previously digitized map of Nigeria. I'll zoom this to layer. Now this is what we have. To, to work on the attribute table, we right click on the particular layer and we open the attribute table. So this is what we have for the attribute table, this window. Now we can resize it as we wish. And we can also move it about to dock it. But I prefer it floating. We can also open another attribute table for another layer. And we can navigate between the two attribute tables. To select features, we can click on the select features tool and we can select random features. We can also select directly from the attribute table by clicking on each items on the attribute table and we can see the items being selected. Now we can also select multiple items. To select multiple items, you can hold the shift button and we can start selecting. Or we can come into the data frame. We hold the shift button, then we can also select on the on the map. Now we have this showing all records but if you want to if you want to view just what we've selected we we'll select this button to show the selected records so we can see the selected records now we can relate to other tables but i don't have a table to relate to at the moment now we can also select the attributes what this button does is the same thing as this selection right here to select by attributes or learn this later in the course and now we can switch selection switching selection is like flipping between the selected features so I'll just select it one more time to flip back. We can clear the selected features. And just select the states. And we can also zoom to the selected feature. I'll go back to the previous extent. And we can finally delete a selected feature. So another thing we can do is to sort. We can right click on a column. And we can sort ascending. So these states are in alphabetical order can also sort descending I think I'll do I prefer it ascending now another thing we can do when we have multiple multiple attributes we are working with is to freeze a particular column we would be working with a lot so for the population data for the population column I can freeze it once I freeze it it jumps right to the very first item on the list and if I move through, it's it's like constant all through. So that's how to freeze and unfreeze a particular column would be we like to use a lot. And there are some fields we are not necessarily using a lot. So let me explain that with this state. So say I'm not using a particular field, um, say the geo zone. So I can right click on it and I can turn off the the particular field. Now to bring back this field, I'll right click on the state and go to the properties. Then I'll go to this tab field. So under the fields tab, I can see, I can select all the attributes. Then I can bring it back on. I can off any other field I, I deem. But I'll just select all fields to be on and I say OK. And now we have the geo zone back. So another thing we can do, I'll switch back to the other attribute, is to get statistics of of numeric data sets. So I can come here and calculate and get the statistics. I, I I I get the count. The count is one. Oh, this is because I I selected one item. So let me just clear the selection. Now I can come back to statistics. And I can see we have 38 items on the list, the minimum being zero, the maximum being this particular value, 
and this is the sum of all the values right this is the mean of the values and this is the standard deviation so we can we can play around with other fields on the on the list by right clicking on a particular field and check what all this property does another thing you can also do is add a new field to add a new field you would select this table options and we navigate to add field now before we can add this field our editor must be off if our editor is on we can't add the field so if you are still editing you have to off your editor before you can add the field so i would add the field and i'll call it governor So the sitting governor of each state, we can also populate it. Then it will be a text. These are ways to work on our attributes table. And that's a wrap on our attributes table.